Hello and welcome to my channel on human design. Um, I've had some various questions coming through and there's been a lot of um, interest in the survivor's guide for projectors. So here's a part two. Uh, I want to begin with one of the questions that came through from the film. Um, a projector asked me, what's it like with other projectors? What happens in, in that scenario? Um, well, I run experiments with human design and I've seen it from a distance. Of course, my energy coming into a, a projector group is going to disturb it. So I, I've only seen it from the outside. Um, but it makes sense to see that projectors recognize other people. The aura goes out of them in a penetrating and absorbing way to connect with the other. So when projectors are together, there isn't going to be this... Um, sacral energy that makes them feel they have to do something there's going to be recognition i mean projectors can recognize one another they can feel more at peace because of the sacral energy not being there uh, they can exchange information they can describe how they're guiding the people in their lives so i think there's a lot of um juice to be had by projectors seeking out other projectors in their friend group and hanging out with them and feeling what that's like and getting validation from the same type. Um, I know that myself as a manifesting generator, uh, when I come together with other manifesting generators, there is this elevation of energy. There's, there's this familiarity of the vibe of what it's like to be with my own type. And I can only imagine the same thing will happen with projectors. So try that, try that. Another tip uh, in terms of survival, another uh, tip to is to always carry food with you, some nuts or something that will give you a boost of energy because projectors very often go out there, at, you know, let's go out and have the experience and be with the people and they get hungry, they get desperate for energy and rather than eat nonsense food that's out there, bring something with you. I, I always think that would be a good idea. Remember, energy is at a premium for all projectors, no matter how many motors they may or may not have. The other thing to bear in mind is the ability to, for a projector especially, to get lost in the auras of others. And I want you to experiment with kind of stepping out of the aura of others and doing a scan of your body. Are there tingles under the soles? Is there a kind of a a coldness to the forehead? Are your bones cold? Are you running out of energy? Are you up too late, basically? You know, to check in with yourself, coming out of that energetic uh, aura and coming back to yourself, checking in, making sure that you're okay, reminding yourself that you have a tendency to go on and on and on once you miss your, your window for sleep and it's gonna be detrimental to you the next day. It's also important for projectors to appreciate themselves. I mean, when they're looking for recognition from the outside, that's a natural thing, but also to appreciate yourself when you're alone, uh, whatever it is that is your, your expertise or your love or your enjoyment in life, to just appreciate being you. I mean, the whole point of human design is for us to come back to who we are and to love who we are and to accept everything that we are. Even the things you don't, you don't want in your chart, they become in time when you see them exactly what is needed for your own development. When you're thinking about the projector body and the lack of the sacral, uh, when I say the lack, the fact that you have a sacral that is not fixed. And again, there are so many different varieties of projector, but I would certainly recommend stretching, moving the body, even depending on if you're a passive or an active body, but moving the body. One of the ways uh, this open sacral can manifest is, is basically a, a, subtle, a subtlety here, a flexibility here to be able to move the body, to be able to move the energy in a way that is not work, is incredibly beneficial to a projector. You know, to remember, to remember you are not here to consistently work. 
and to enjoy the energy in things other than work. And talking of work, projectors shouldn't be here to do full-time work. You know, you're here for the part-time work, for the consultancy work, for the managerial work. You're here to guide people. You're not here to be in the doing of it all the time. And I know that many people watching this as projectors are going, well, I've got to, you know, I've got to go out and get, I've got to get, I've got to bring the money in. How am I going to do it if I don't work full time? Well, find a way, find a way, understand you're here to guide people, understand that you're here to see energy being used correctly or not. You can feel it in your body when it's not correct. You can feel it in your body when it is correct. Your guidance, the generators need guidance. They want to be used well. You're here to guide them. Find a way to do it so that you can do some work, but also you can have a life. This is the most important thing. And one of the things that is going to help you, you, you know that already because you're here on this channel, is a system. And projectors are very good at systems one way or another. I'm not saying you're all logical or you all have logical life force, but certainly working with a framework in order to measure what is happening with the people around you. And human design is, uh, well, obviously from my point of view, the best system that I've ever, ever found. And many projectors are coming on because of that. It can tell you what you're dealing with in the person in a very accurate and, and, and permanent way. So you know what you're dealing with. It will help you in the way that you communicate with those beings around you. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope that's going to help you survive more and in a better way and thrive. Uh, if you like this video, please do subscribe and share and like. Okay, thank you. I will see you again soon. Bye for now.